Good or bad thing that I seem to romanticize every single thing in life. Hello, my loves! Happy New Year! Happy 2021! How are we doing? And welcome to the first video of 2021 on the channel. So today I decided to put in a little bit of extra effort for you and make myself look a little bit more uh, presentable. Also, before we get into it, I've decided to bring a few traditions from vlogmas into the videos in 2021 because i love them so much and that is a question of the day because it was so 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 good to be able to get to know you on much more of a deeper level i appreciate you taking the time to watch these videos so it's so lovely to, to chat with you further in the comments so today's question of the day is what is one goal you've set yourself for 2021. It doesn't have to be a New Year's resolution because I personally don't believe in resolutions anymore. I believe in setting goals to adhere to throughout the year. So for me, it is to exercise three to five times a week because it sets off those endorphins. It makes me feel motivated to get my work done. It's to read more, preferably reading at least two books a month. Um, and also I want to cook more as well to go outside of my comfort zone. And there's loads of other business goals and stuff, but I won't warn you about that right now. Um, but yeah, let me know in the comments below what is your goal for 2021 or multiple goals for 2021 if you want to share more with me and we'll chat about it in the comments and without further ado and let's get back into the start of the video when i was at my sister's place ah uh, a new year and a new day of me being spectacularly bad at making coffee <laughs> This is the Sage Barista Express that my sister has and it's a beautiful machine and it's truly taught me that making latte art is such an art form in itself as you'll see later when I make this uh, coffee for myself. <laughs> wow, I'm pleased to report that after six months not making it, I still suck. <laughs> We ate comfort food, we watched Korean dramas, we laughed, and it was just truly such an enjoyable break. And then soon after, I went back into the studio and it felt so good just to clean everything again. And it was so lovely to make sure the flat was fresh and clean for the new year in 2021 and to settle back in. I'm gonna record some ambience and put it in this track. <laughs> Like it was so, so, so nice to spend it with um, sisters, but it's just, it really feels like home here now. And like coming back in here, I just felt so warm and so full of joy and just so happy to be back in my own space. So I'm just going around like having a little catch up with the studio. My peace lily has droops a bit though, let me show you. This is the peace lily and actually yesterday it was super super droopy but now it's kind of having a little bit of a lift off i gave it a little bit of a cleanse and i just went around watering all the plants so um yeah that's the downside of it feels good it feels good to be back yes we love a shiny surface oh look you can see my reflection afterwards so I always put it just before I'm blow drying my hair concentrating on the ends of my hair and then slowly working its way up and then I always like twist it in like this I've just finished blow drying my hair and I feel so good I mean like, obviously I wash my hair when I was still up my sisters but you know when you just like have your own routine your own products I didn't bring my products with me and you just you know taking my time I was putting on the um, it's okay that's love I rest to you again whilst I was blow drying my hair feeling good I'm feeling good and the people outside are probably just like what are you doing but anyway I'm gonna now put on some makeup so I'll see you in three two, one, whoop. And I've now got my makeup on and I'm back to the present moment after filming the <laughs> intro. I also wanted to talk about something that I've been doing, well, today um, and over the past few days as well. And it's really, I've, well, so far I've seen like such a dramatic 
change in my mood um, and that is to incorporate more mindfulness and meditation into my daily life and also today I started doing a gratitude journal inside I've just been basically jotting down all of my goals for this year and um, the things I want to do today and also right at the back I've done a little gratitude journal of five things that I'm grateful for and I want to do this every single day maybe in the morning or something and I really want to work on just being in more of the present moment and to appreciate and um, everything that I have around me appreciate you know having a roof over my head actually I'll read you the grateful one that I've written today five things I'm grateful for I'm grateful for my family and friends and my health I'm grateful to have a job that I love I'm grateful for having a roof over my head I'm grateful for having friends and family that love me and I'm grateful for having food on the table and even writing that I just put a tear in my eye and obviously you know that <laughs> I tear up very easily even hearing my sister's laugh next to me I'm like I'm grateful for this moment and being able to have this and I want to come from a place of abundance rather than a place of scarcity and to not worry about what I don't have and what I want and what I need but actually to fully embrace exactly what I do have and what I already have around me and the things I want to work towards but I'm not going to put myself in such an anxious mental state in order to achieve it because I feel like that would make me in a better frame of mind and a better place to actually achieve those things for myself in the future as well. Apologies in advance that this is blurry because this is on the front screen of my camera and I don't want to do like a whole fancy setup because I just wanted to film this little video. <laughs> it's currently 2.40 in the morning. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing that I seem to romanticise every single thing in life. Telling my sister this yesterday, she was like, wow, you really did have a bit of a K-drama moment. But I was just sitting in bed and I suddenly got up and I just felt this overwhelming wave of emotion <sighs> more so than the other days because I know I'm a very I feel a lot I feel deeply you know and I just sat up in bed I looked around my flat I looked at the little plants I looked at the books and I, my eyes were just suddenly streaming with tears like happy tears so I know I am ready for my um Oscar nomination for best actress so dramatic I was looking up and I was just saying I like, thank you over and over again because I didn't imagine this life for myself and this is more than I ever would have imagined for myself when I was younger I don't know whether it's these like gratitude journals that I've been doing and these entries every single day but I'm really trying to work on being more in the present moment and to appreciate my life as it is right now and to give thanks to everything well not everything but you know the things that have led the circumstances that have led to me being here right now and being the person that i am right now with the people that i have in my life okay go to bed now good night but remember this moment future shoe when you're hopefully never get too big for your boots and you'll never be arrogant or a dickhead <laughs> hopefully <laughs> And if you ever do, please look back at this video and remember how happy you are at this right moment um, because this is more than you'll ever need and more than we ever thought would be possible. So everything else is just a bonus. And uh, stop having these weird self-reflective over-emotional weeks moments at like 2 30 3 o'clock in the morning when you should be going to bed and maybe because it's your lack of sleep that's making you a bit like this in which case you should turn off the fairy lights and go to bed earlier and stop drinking water before bed as well because it makes your face really swollen and puffy the next day anyway i love you welcome to the next day this has been an emotional week so far and I mean it in the best possible way. Since I've started journaling, which by the way is gonna be the next video where I'm gonna talk about the new daily habits that I have adopted, that I have seen make a big difference to my day-to-day -day mood and how I manage anxiety and just how I manage days where I just don't feel as like, which is perfectly fine, you know? Like it happens day to day and like we have waves of emotions and I'm just trying to learn how to embrace it more. But hang on, is it really loud? Let me turn. It was really loud. But um, also, by the way, this is a new lounge set that I bought, the tie-dye lounge set, and I just posted a Reels on my Instagram about this outfit, but it's so comfortable, and it's really oversized, and I love the color, makes me happy, and I paired it with these little lemon earrings. So if you want to see the full outfit, then head on over to my Instagram. But yeah, since I've started journaling this week and just writing down physically things that I am grateful for, 
I've noticed such a shift in the way that I view things and I'm really trying to learn how to <laughs> um, embrace my emotions, acknowledge and accept every single thing that I'm feeling, but not reacting out of impulse, you know, and learning to take a step back and distance myself and actually view certain emotions like anxiety as I am feeling anxious, as opposed to I am anxious and actually basing my whole, you know, view of myself and self-worth on that one emotion and letting it have an impact on my day, like a negative impact on my day, but actually allowing it to acknowledge it and sit with it and question myself. Today's been such a chill day so far. All I've done is work out and then spend a long time in the shower, just doing a face scrub, body scrub, body oil, washed my hair, filmed a reel. I'm gonna edit this video now, post it for tomorrow. And yeah, it's just been a lovely chilled day and I'm gonna read my Kindle later. And I'm just, making the most of it so far. Like, I don't know how I used to pack my day-to-day -day before this pandemic with things. Like, before, I used to always have my calendar absolutely chock-a-block of things, and now I do a few things, and I'm like, today's done, today's already over. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed uh, this little comeback vlog, the first vlog of 2021. I hope you're having a wonderful day so far, morning, afternoon, or evening, and I'll see you in the next video. And happy 2021, it's good to be back, and I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.